On January 15th, an urgent call was issued from Chinese consulates in Canada and around the world. Beijing was secretly concerned the new coronavirus raging in Wuhan was on the verge of becoming a pandemic, and that its healthcare workers would run out of supplies. It needed more personal protective equipment and fast. In a matter of just six weeks, China imported nearly 2.5 billion pieces of personal protective equipment, including over 2 billion masks. And they did this through the use of a secret government agency within the Chinese government, called the United Front Work Department. We found essentially a global covert operation in which China moved early to secure personal protective equipment for its hospitals, while it was covering up the extent of the pandemic risk for the rest of the world. An Associated Press investigation found that Beijing waited six days to warn the public after officials in China determined they were likely facing a pandemic from the new coronavirus. The effect was it left the rest of the world short of PPE. And we looked deeper into the means and found that clandestine networks were used to secure all the safety equipment worldwide. The United Front Work Department, also just known as the United Front, dates back to the 1940s. Though under Chinese President Xi Jinping, the scope of the organization has massively expanded. The United Front Works Department is, to put it very simply, a political warfare operation, which tries to nullify opposition in uh, other countries and which tries to win the support from the elites in business, in politics, in academia, in media, in target countries. And pretty well all countries around the world these days are target countries. A 2018 CSIS report outlines United Front activities as co-opting elites, information management, persuasion, as well as accessing strategic information and resources. And that the agency has frequently been a means of facilitating espionage. The United Front operates various groups that embed themselves in ethnic Chinese communities in Canada and around the world. It is part of President Xi's efforts to control information, not only within China's borders, but also how China is perceived internationally. According to a recent report, two of the main goals of the United Front are to manage and guide overseas Chinese communities and utilize them as agents of Chinese foreign policy and to co-opt foreigners to support and promote the Communist Party's foreign policy goals. It's in all the embassies and consulates here. It's in all the Chinese student organizations here. Pretty well all Chinese language media in Canada is controlled by the United Front, editorially. They also, of course, have infiltrated a lot of the Canada-China organizations here, particularly business organizations. So in January, when the Communist Party called upon millions of overseas Chinese to buy up PPE and ship it back to China, dozens of United Front groups sprung into action. And then we see in Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, mobilization of community groups scouring retail stores, coming back to the airport with pallets of PPE and sending it to China. And according to sources with knowledge of RCMP and CSIS files, at least one of these groups in Vancouver has attracted the attention of Canadian law enforcement agencies. Over the past year, I found that some of the suspects in casino money laundering networks were associating openly with United Front group leaders, especially in Vancouver. And so we looked deeper into one of the organizations that was very key in the Canada PPE operations. And this group, at least one director, has a documented tie to persons accused of underground criminality. And while this agency is currently garnering attention because of the pandemic and the need for PPE, this goes far beyond masks. This is about an influence network that is becoming so pervasive. They're not only trying to control citizens that have migrated from China to Canada, they're trying to control Canadian politicians of all parties. They're trying to influence Canada's democracy. And the PPE issue is just a very present danger that illustrates a deeper problem facing Western democracies. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.